in a couple minutes. So little was said about it before the election, and now everywhere you turn, you hear the term fiscal cliff. So what exactly is the fiscal cliff, and how can it be avoided, and should it be avoided? In our Commitment to Balance News, Ben investigates what is at stake in a reality check you won't see anywhere else. The fiscal cliff. What exactly is it? Well, it's a combination of tax breaks all set to expire at the same time in just 50 days. So here's the rundown. About 50% of those tax breaks are what are often called Bush era tax cuts, the ones of 2001 and 2003. They were renewed by President Obama in 2009. Those are income tax breaks for all Americans. At issue is whether to allow the breaks for Americans making over 250,000 a year to continue. 20% of the tax increase would come from the end of about 80 tax breaks that are mostly for businesses. And 20% of the taxes involve the expiration of a Social Security tax enacted in 2010. And that's technically separate from some of these other issues, but because that tax cut expires at the same time, it's being rolled into the fiscal cliff discussion. Finally, the remaining 10% of the tax increases, those would come mainly from the alternative minimum tax. It would hit 30 million Americans by expiring, which would be up from 4 million now. The costly AMT was designed to prevent rich people from exploiting loopholes and deductions to avoid any income tax. But the AMT was not indexed for inflation, so it's increasingly threatening middle-income taxpayers. And that is the cliff, allowing all these tax breaks to expire at the same time. So what would be the end result? Well, it's too complicated of a question to answer in just one reality check segment. So we're going to look at these one issue at a time over a series of segments. Tonight, the Bush era tax cuts. Now, this is the largest number of tax breaks and where the biggest fight may actually emerge. So what happens if a deal doesn't get done on those Bush era tax cuts? Well, according to the nonpartisan tax policy center, people in every tax bracket will pay more. The 10 percent bracket becomes 15 percent. 25 becomes 28, 28 becomes 31, 33 becomes 36, and 35 becomes 39.6. And there's more. Capital gains tax increase from 15 to 20 percent. Families that claim child tax credit right now, they get a thousand dollar credit, but that will drop to five hundred dollars. Estate tax rates will go up. Dividend taxes will increase dramatically from 15 percent to 39.6 percent. And the payroll tax cut expires meaning savings of $1,000 in 2011 and 2012 for someone making $50,000 a year. Well, if it expires, paychecks will begin shrinking in January. In fact, the Senate has already passed a bill doing exactly this. So all we need is action from the House. And I've got the pen ready to sign the bill right away. So President Obama says he's ready to sign an extension of all those tax breaks, except for the breaks on income over $250,000 a year. House Republicans are saying they're sticking with their pledge to not raise tax rates. And what that means for you is that this will likely not be the game of chicken some are making it out to be. It's almost unimaginable that a deal on these tax rates will not get done. After all, Speaker of the House John Boehner is already indicating that while the House probably isn't ready to raise tax rates just yet, they would be willing to close tax loopholes and credits on those 250000 and up incomes. Is that alone enough of a compromise to get a deal done? Well, that remains to be seen. And that is Reality Check. We have created a fiscal cliff tax bracket cheat sheet for you in connection with our partners at Simply Money. This is going to help you see just how each of these tax rate changes could affect you. You can find the link to the document at the end of the story, which will be posted in the Reality Check section of our website, fox19.com. So it's a lot of complicated stuff that you broke down for them, so you can get a more in-depth look as long as you go there to our website. Absolutely. You can check it out. It's a nice chart, easy to follow. Good.